sometimes teachers send me stories that I can't act out and they just need to be told. Uh, and this is one of them. Just be prepared. There's some very somber things that happen in this. Um, very, it's just a really sad story. I don't know if you've ever heard of this happening before, but this is my awful story. I teach the severe and profound students and often have peer tutors every period. We are doing a money lesson and my peer tutor comes over to me with her phone and says, look at Mr. Blank. We'll call him Mr. Blank. He keeps playing this joke with his class and told them to wake him up when they can figure out the answer. Mr. Blank taught calculus and when she showed me the picture, I knew immediately something was wrong. I take off running to his room and walk into a class of 30 calculus kids just staring ahead. One little girl says, Mrs. Smith, we'll say the teacher's name is Mrs. Smith. Mrs. Smith, we can't figure out the answer. I look at my dear colleague who is sitting very peacefully in his chair and know in my heart that this is bad. I get all of the kids out of the room and then my fear was realized. My dear friend and colleague had a massive heart attack and died right in front of all of those children. I tell one of the last kids who left the room to grab the teacher across the hall and she runs in as I am getting him to the floor to try CPR. Now neither one of us have our phones and we are on the opposite side of the school from the front office. She runs back to her room and calls 911. We are on the phone with 911 and the police officer at our school hears the call come in that there is a possible heart attack at our location. So after a good four to five minutes, our admin comes running into the room and to see the awful scene of me and my colleague giving him CPR. One of our janitors used to be an EMT and came into the room and took over CPR until the ambulance got there. Of course, we go on code blue and it is starting to go around the school that Mr. Blank had died. His son was also a teacher and was two doors down. Wow. And he comes in the room and together we watch as they try and revive him. After what seems like days, the ambulance takes him away and I lose my mind. I had kept it together and was almost superhuman until it was over. What gets me the most is our superintendent does not shut the school down for the day. This happened during second period. No one thinks to check on me and I'm having a full-blown panic attack at this point. My teacher BFF goes to the office and says, someone needs to send Mrs. Smith home. Our admin finally, after 90 minutes, comes and asks me if I need to go home. Then they let me drive myself home. It was a surreal experience for sure. Of course, not one person from our board office checks on me, not a board member, superintendent, or any administrator. The next day at school, I have another panic attack and they send me home. Of course, you're back in the situation, you're back in the setting that it all happened for you and that's so traumatic. No one checked on you? That's insane. The funeral was a few days later and our teachers all had to call off before they would shut our school down to attend the funeral. So they didn't even shut it down for the funeral. The teachers had to call out and then they're like, okay, I guess we should shut it down. I will say that I was proud of myself for staying so calm and not panicking for those kids who were there. I will say. Um, she said she had a hard time walking down the hallway where his room used to be, of course. Um... Yeah, she says, it changed me at my core and my perception of people in charge of our schools. I can understand why. Have not gotten one of these stories before. That is just absolutely heartbreaking, absolutely traumatizing to go through something like that. This teacher sounds like she was an absolute superhero in handling this and um, dealing with the children and trying to save his life. I think that is just really such superhero behavior. The school and these kids are really lucky to have her.